So, do you know what food is this? <laughs> no, I've just got given to by this lovely lady. I helped to carry some luggage because I thought she was struggling. <laughs> and I got given this as a thank you gift, I would say. Bear in mind, she allowed a stranger to come in the house, but I helped her carry the bags. But either way, I'm winning because I got food at the end of the day. Vegetarian, by the way, I've never tried this kind of thing, but um, ho hopefully I'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you like to, you realize people won't be able to taste your food, right? How are you going to get around that? I bought a caravan. <laughs> I remember he gave me a lift. You bought a caravan? Yeah. It's like a... Well, like an empty village. Just... Yeah, it's like I've literally never been here before um, in my entire four years in Swansea. What is this place? <laughs> this is Pantasia. And there used to be like uh, different shops down there. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's just introduce each other. So okay. basically, um, okay. So guys, this is, this is Matthew, he's going to be filming. Uh, hello. Would you... Oh, sorry, am I supposed to be in this? Okay. So this is Matthew's going to be Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. You're the fire people. <laughs> you should know. Oh, that's a point. What element are you? I'm earth. Oh, okay. And um, what's characterised by... Oh. <laughs> For the earth element are the stomach and spleen. Right. So I feel lots of issues with eating and feeling satisfied. And, and it's also about being like the mother and always feeding others, mm. being supportive. And you were definitely the mother of the psychology department. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, how? At least oh. people that I've talked to. So you just kind of like seem to care the most about individual people. Oh. Like you actually like, want to know everybody instead of just being like, oh, I'm here for a year. It's just intrusive. <laughs> Not intrusive, just kind of like curious. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. I, I, I mean, I, I, I do care about them, but I didn't know they noticed. <laughs> What's the element of 93? Uh, what, what, um, month? March. March. Oh, wow. We're from March. What month are you? Uh, June. June. Uh, what? 93. Metal 7. The charismatic metal. What, what year were you? Uh, 96. 96. How were you metal then? I don't know. You were metal. Okay, what am I? Uh, nurses. King Pei. You're a tree. Wood. Okay. 
Wait, so does that mean that I'm not a fire? You've got a fire imbalance anyway. Okay, so there are two reasons why you could be cold. One reason is that you're, you're too tight, you're too young, and then the circulation doesn't reach. Or that you're too weak and the circulation doesn't reach because there's not enough blood. I thought that, I thought that fire described me perfectly. I've never seen so many stopped cupboards before in my life. This is just like health food heaven. I don't know how to else to describe it. The microwave changes food and um, so the fire, the flame, is going to give a different medicinal quality. Right. But we're still going to use the electric because I don't have enough camping gas. Okay, um, do you want to talk about what you normally eat? Uh, your staple meals, but it's no wheat. Probably is, but but you said you don't. I'm allergic to it. I just still eat it. Okay. Same thing with dairy. Oh, okay. That explains the imbalance. <laughs> I've cooked a sausage casserole recently. It's quite good. So meat. Yes, meat. Okay. I eat meat. I'm sorry. So I did try nice. a, um, and cook a vegetarian um, slow cooked meal recently, actually. Did which you quite use nice. dry beans? Um, no, beans from a can. So, you know that because you're slow cooking, you can actually use them dry and you save lots of money. Oh. Because in eight hours, I can tell you the beans are cooked. Okay. So, how, how do you feel after eating? I get tired. Full. So, whenever I eat. It's like, sort of like feeling complete, like I'm very full. Okay. Um, we call it like sleepy baby syndrome in the States. Like when a baby like engorges itself so much, it just passes out. I'm passing out to sleep, not like passing out from lack of oxygen or anything. <laughs> yeah, sounds relaxed. And the aim of this meal is that you still feel that fullness, but you don't feel the tiredness. But this is a meal that is going to be mixed in some fire things, like corn. Grazing is fun. So, it's fine. I've got to say, grazed carrots feel very weird. I don't like it. I have a nerve disorder, so I don't like certain textures. <laughs> Maybe it's a thing that you don't like the, the same textures, because you've got the same imbalance. Do you have a nerve disorder too? I don't really know what a nerve disorder is, to be honest. I have too many nerves. Oh, so, so like, like things are I'm like hypersensitive to things. One, two, three. Oh my god, that's a lot of salt. Can I use the big knife? We have a big Huge. Proper chef's knife. Did you see this thing? <laughs> oh my god, that's even bigger than mine. And I'm just using it to cut hairs. Oh, I, I do not feel comfortable using a knife this big. I'm trying to do what Violet is doing, because she did the whole cool chef thing. It's like this weird claw. I'm convinced that somehow my finger will sort of slip out like that. There's a finger guard? Oh my, can I use the finger guard? Yes, you can use the finger guard. I'll, I'll give it a quick wash because it's, it's been the... Uh... Because it had blood on it, because it didn't actually work very well. It's not of itself. Because I could pull it in a strange way. So I usually mix it first with oil because I like to be rich and flavorsome. And polenta is very nice, but it doesn't taste like anything. Because you have this fire thing, we could we could go a bit more like open with the oil and the salt. Do you like salt? Because that sounds like it's not very tasty. It's delicious. No food being wasted here. Yeah. Raspberry flavour is from. Is secretions from E. beaver's sweat. Oh, that was an <laughs> utterly terrible joke. Basically, just kind of staring them. It kind of tastes like sauerkraut. Mm. This makes me so happy though, because mm. whenever, like we've got miso oh, soup right. in the States too, and like a lot of Chinese places, but they always contain beef broth. Okay, this one is, um, is not, and it makes me so happy that I can actually eat it. Yeah, it does actually taste quite meaty. It just makes me happy because I do enjoy miso soup. This is the mayonnaise thing that's not mayonnaise, but that you make. Tahini. Yes. The tahini and, was it lemon juice? Yes. Tahini and lemon juice. And that thing um, with the plum. Pickled plum. Ah, yes, yeah. Um, this is the carrot that I grated earlier. This is the soy thing, 
Um, and then underneath all of this, you can't see, but is Palenta. And? There's an and. And there's an and. And you've got the shrooms. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a really nice flavour. It's good. It's just a lot sweeter than I was expecting it. I also added some uh, brown rice syrup mm. to give it like a, a sweeter, like teriyaki feel. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes a bit like, I don't know, like a fish sauce, but it's not fish. None of this me is, <laughs> has meat in it in any way, shape or form. And yet, I am still tasting all of these flavours. I think, I think if I had tried, I think if I tried the sauce, I'd definitely, yeah, and I definitely believe it was like a fish thing. I would definitely believe that that had meat in it of some sort. I'm not sure people have a bite of meat and think, oh, I'm having a heart attack, but mm. it's a nice to go. See, because I thought that these would actually have quite weak flavours, but it doesn't at all. Um, and that's sort of the thing that's like turns me off vegetarianism, is the fact that I think, maybe unfairly, mm. that yes. um, that um, it won't have. I mean, recipes won't have strong flavours. But clearly, I wasn't looking in the right place. Yeah, I feel like we're getting a pretty good deal here, <laughs> in that all we have to do is literally just eat on camera uh, in order to enjoy this meal because it's really good. Is this rather expensive or no? Because I know that we we shop for it. Mm. Um, earlier, and uh, I would admit that I wasn't looking at the prices. There's lots of mm -hmm. vegetables that we can cook for another meal that we'll keep for the rest of the week. Twenty odd pounds. So really? It's not bad at all. No. Yeah. That's why I spent on like essentially just chicken and pasta and rice. I'm not easily impressed when I eat food. <laughs> this is really good. Cool. It's a creamy. Um, Carrot soup, yeah, with some seeds. Uh, has got onion as well. Right. And then this is uh, croquettes with millet, and then on top uh, some azuki beans. Right. Uh, blanched broccoli, and the sauce is um, tahini, lemon, and umeboshi plum. Wow. So I hope you like it. They look amazing. No, sure. I, I'm hoping it's gonna help because I've got uh, potassium deficiency. Uh, my my intestines don't seem to be able to absorb certain nutrients such as potassium and sodium. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, I hope it works. Thank you. What a dress! I need to, to make more efforts to make this. Ta da! There you go. Is that alright? Mummy, I don't need your help. But I want to do some to make it quicker. Is it hot? Love it. Okay. They were great though. Mine. So what are you up to with this documentary? Oh, I just want to show it to people to so yeah. that I I don't have to be it's just everywhere. Yours. It's just yours though, eh? so you can do whatever you want in it. Yes. <laughs> And there's loads that they can do to help themselves. Instead of taking all this medicine, what doesn't help? I try to remember to put it on her feet as many nights as I can remember. Cupcake. Mm. I find a hell of an improvement. Simple. Again, coconut oil in the health shop is expensive, isn't it? Yummy. This oh, is oh. cocoa with apple juice, with raisins, and a little pinch of salt. Yeah. Isn't it? What oh. else is in it? That's it. That's yeah, it. <laughs> Very natural. Um, seaweed and uh, mm, mm, mm. the rice. Mm, mm. Da, 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 da. Without potato. And I love potato. That's pretty hot. See, it's like sausages. These are not going to last. We need like a big pan of, of rice. <laughs> yeah. So what are this those? This much. Are they cooking? Uh-huh. Uh, what else do we use? Carrots, British carrots. <laughs> okay. I mean, the, the the base is cooked. Yeah. So maybe we, what we could do is to put it in a grill. If you want to give us free food, we're from the United Kingdom, <laughs> from Swansea, United Kingdom. And the area is Clear Spring. Oh yeah. If you're stressed out and you um, you should make full food, oh carrots and sweet potato. You don't have. You can eat the veg later and the tofu or beetroot, whatever. 
Why would you want to help me with the food? Ma? So you can be healthy and as you get older I want you to know how to cook for yourself and when you have a problem how to help yourself and not to get stuck with eating um, quick and easy unhealthy food all the time because you okay. can't cook or you don't know any better. I was becoming a bit of a martyr. I wanted to be the martyr of the lost cause of macrobiotics and to help everyone that didn't get help and everyone that was um, given up on. So not just focusing on the new generations that are the future but also focusing in the present instead of saying okay we, we screwed up already so let's let's just forget about those people and then start new with the new generations but I don't want that I want to show that it's okay to start wherever you start from there's always some kind of context that you can apply all these learnings into uh, you can apply yin and yang everywhere if you feel very stressed you have too much yang then okay then find out the yangs in your life find out the yangs in your food and try to balance that I'm not a fighter and I want people to live their own lives but I do want people to choose their own choices I, I find it heartbreaking when I see people telling me they are trapped in their own realities when they, they can't see any other options and I wish they could see the options I get very tired Hi. Hi. I'm ready the food. <laughs> it's uh, broccoli soup. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that one uh, is a sauce that goes with the croquettes and that's rice and and carrot croquettes. Oh. And it's all vegan. Okay. And it has some seaweed and some seeds. Uh -huh. So uh, if you find some green things on the uh, lentils, that's, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, I hope you like it and I hope it helps you study. Alright. Can you move? No, I can't move. Uh, do, you, do you live far? No, my mum lives just around the corner. Okay. Do you, do you want me to call anyone? Oh. Ow. It really hurts. Okay, okay. So, where is it? Is it Just around the corner. Okay. Maybe we can, maybe we can call an ambulance. No, I don't want an ambulance. It's not too bad. Okay. I don't know. It's like you, you think macrobiotics is some kind of nursing thing, and then I say, I think I can help you. I'm a macrobiotic student, and then you say, okay. Do you like to be happen? Okay. Where where does it hurt? My stomach. Where where in the stomach? Just. All over, really. All of it. Okay. It's really hurting. What did you do today? Um, I drank quite a lot. I don't remember all of it, but I had a lot of beer, um, a bottle of vodka, and um, I had some paracetamol as well, quite a lot, just to try and stop the pain a bit. I had some indigestion tablets because my stomach started to hurt quite a lot. Okay, let me see. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, okay, yeah, it, it seems quite bloated. Okay, uh, did you do anything else that could make it worse? Um, I did run down to Mumbles okay. earlier. That seems quite young. Um, okay, have you, have you got a hot water bottle? Um, I don't know. Where's the kitchen? It's over there. Okay, I'll, I'll be back.
Okay. Thank you. I think I'm going to use some pressure points for macrobiotics uh, on your feet. It hurts a bit. Yes, it's meant to hurt. You had some yin, like the alcohol and the drugs, and that's very expansive, so that's why you're bloated. And then you had some yang, like running five kilometers, so that's why you're so congested and you need to move the energy and that's why I'm pressing your liver and gallbladder meridians and the warmth should help you with uh, the tension in your belly How is this feeling now? I feel a lot better actually I'm studying so I'm, I'm, I'm trying things but if you get that again maybe you should call an ambulance Okay I don't know, I mean, what you did worked. Definitely helped life feel a lot better. I can vouch for it, that's for sure. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for that. What was your name again? It was Andrew. I did learn quite a lot. Oh, I learned well. about the, I don't know what it's called, but the foot thing you did. The yin and yang moving bit. Thirties across the road, and like, ding, ding. and there is an like, old man and come and who are you? I think he's weird to live here. He says, "No, I'm the only one who can live here." That is not offensive. Okay, that's good because he's been in the background of the film for the whole time. Uh, tell the um emperor about how to guard govern the world and how to love people. I kind of say, how to do this more, like blah 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 blah. Okay. So where are we going to sit? Uh, where is it comfortable? <laughs> I don't have that many seats. An automatic. Is this recording? So the trick is to cook it with a pinch of salt and then that brings the flavour out and you don't, you don't need to add any water, it's just it's just fair mm -hmm. and then it cooks on its own steam mm -hmm. when you put the lid on mm -hmm. so it doesn't lose any of the flavour mm, It's like jelly Yeah mm. And it's vegan <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's all vegan today? Yeah Nice. Thank you. In our university, they don't know their major. Because yeah, there was a time I asked my classmates, oh no, during my high school, I said, what do you want to do in your future? They said, I don't know. But what they do is they study really hard. Unlike me, I like, I like psychology since I am worse in the primary school. Well, no, they don't know about their <laughs> some stress. And sometimes parents do put some stress on them. Just like, no way, gap year, come on, it's a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or else your parents are going to call, why don't you come home please, <laughs> go home. During my high school, there was one student that was sleep only 5 hours a day. When they do this, they don't feel like I need to handle with the stress. When they do this, they study really hard. I was going to the boarding school when I was in um, primary school and junior high, junior school. Because mm. we pay a lot for them. Mm. For for the foreign teacher because you you gonna we're gonna pay them average salary according to the Western country. As long as you can get a high mark, we don't. It doesn't matter who's the teacher. It's a foreigner. Oh, Rory, that's carrots. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. So um, I think mm. um, pumpkin. No. Okay. <laughs> Um, Good guess though, for the colour. Yeah, the colour <laughs> and the texture. <laughs> um, okay, I did hear carrots. Okay. Lemons? Yes. Mm, it's nice. Well, there's a taste of. Um, it's very, very subtle. And it's really light, isn't it? It's some onion and then oil mm. and salt. But I like cooking with very simple ingredients. Mm. 
Well, to be honest, I <laughs> I love my meat. Okay. Um, although I I love veg, but it's everyone's choice really. I'm vegetarian, but not vegan. Also, my friends friends are vegan. And you're not influenced by them. Of <laughs> course cool, not. Um, <laughs> but regarding meat, I do like meat that's um. How can I say? I I like no chlorinated chicken and no hormone injected beef. Yes. Nice fresh chicken and nice fresh beef is the way to go. Yeah, so something that's not unhealthy for you. Yeah. I mean, you've tried John's food, haven't you? John, you know, the John the Farmer. Yeah. That's nice. You've, you've appreciated uh, his uh, nice organic um, I love it. veg. Yeah. It's what farming should be. There's been a big increase in um, organic farming uh, and you have people buying organic foods. Yeah. Mmm. Last year, when I went to a wedding, they all asked about mum, and what did I do, Helen? Well, you didn't want to talk about, about it, so you said everything was fine. Yeah, died. Mm. Yeah, to be honest, Violetta, I don't know if you agree about this, but I don't think it's appropriate to talk about those things at a wedding. Yes, it's healthy to be <laughs> be the decision maker in that, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I loved? Do you know what I loved all about this is the I love the lemoniness. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I love lemon. Yeah, lemon is very good for the tension when you're feeling stressed. So I yes, just thought that's a, that's good to know. Isn't lemon. It, yes. Mm -hmm. When you're feeling that very tense and angry. Uh, Having fried food is probably the worst thing you can do because that tenses you even more and it gives you energy but it gives you like the angry energy. <laughs> so try not to have that much I fried think you food. You can relate to this, Rory. This is a little bit like the Star Wars code, you know, with the you know the lightsabers, you know, the yep. theories about you know the colours. Do you know about the colours? Um, let's say blue is a very common one. Green's <laughs> also very common. Jedi's in terms of have blue and green, the lightsabers are powered up by these crystals. They're called kyber crystals. And whatever colour the crystal is, the colour the blade will be, Samuel Jackson wanted to stand out from everyone else. And his favourite colour is purple. Hmm, okay. That's why he's the only one with a purple lightsaber. Any character on the dark side has got a red lightsaber. Hmm. And red means... Well, you just put in all the negative energy, you name it, anger, fear, hate, suffering, pain, and you pour it all in and then the crystal turns red, it bleeds. But then if you purify the crystal and reverse the pain, it turns white. Would you just control how? your emotions? Yes, how would you yeah. do? Would you express your emotions? Would you ask for forgiveness? Would you... Oh, that's the thing. Like... Jedis lack emotion. They don't have emotion. They're, they've been trained not to. But They're they... meant to be like monks. The Jedis are bad a little bit. If you think about it. They... Taking little children, brainwashing them. <laughs> and, well, um... it, it, I, I suppose, you know, it's... it's... It's what can happen in established religions. Yeah. And the Jedi did just that. Just that. Am I still being filmed? Yes. And I'm not sure whether to look away and eat or face <laughs> the camera. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> Do you know what? Editing is very tiring. I am going. Well, I couldn't keep everything warm because I don't have enough... Um, Appliances, so I just kept it in here. Uh, and then today I've invited a couple of people that have what I've diagnosed as a water imbalance because, um, well, I think they would benefit from some extra support in kidney and bladder, which are the Chinese medicine organs for the water element. Hello. Hey, um, are you near Cromwell Street? Walk all the way up and then there's like another street. 
the promenade. You should should be able to see me if I. I don't think you're too far. So is it macrobiotic? Yes. Yeah. Cool. It's nice. So are you are you still vegetarian? Um, I'm failing. Oh. I think I'm flexitarian. What foods do you enjoy? Everything really. I don't really dislike any food. Um, I quite like sort of bitter tastes. Mm. Like I like black coffee a lot. Jeez. I'm trying to make three albums and it's making it impossible to finish any of them. I'm trying to do three, three things at the same time. It's a bit... Yes. I'm coming out. Slightly strange deal. It's like being famous. Do you would you consider yourself a shy person? Yeah. Is it filming now? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I like this idea of being in the shadow. Okay. And this is part of my shy personality. Yeah. Yeah. See, it works. I think ever most people are shy. You think most people are shy because you're shy? Well, I'm, I don't know. I don't feel that shy. I sort of am and, and not at the same time. What do you think I am? Yeah. Yeah. Time will have invited you to the shy dinner if, if I. If is this I... what is that what this is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm making you read about the kidney and the fear and the shy. <laughs> and, and, and this food is supposed to make you um, uh, to complement your shyness and make it into mm. uh, so use all the good qualities of the water, which is like creativity and flowing with things and. I'm giving you the willpower without um, the fear and the shyness. If you see people with this uh, darkness around the eyes, that is a kidney imbalance. Can't yeah. be just not sleeping now. Yeah, yeah, but when you don't sleep, you develop a kidney imbalance. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much I was just stressed today because I went to um, a public speaking um, class like to improve, and I don't know, I just got stressed. I can't do public speaking. Yeah, that's why I want to. I can play music, <laughs> but I can't speak. It's very impressive that you can go on stage. I, I don't really get nervous anymore. But I, I do sometimes... Sometimes I don't really talk enough. I just play the songs and I just... I don't want to force people to take a certain thing. Like I just want them to take what they want, hear from the music. Yes, so, I think it's okay. I don't like... Yeah, like in university, doing public speaking is uh, not much fun. Yeah. <laughs> not very interesting to like I should learn more. Fun? Uh, I would love to be a conference interpreter. So it's like people, you know, like, if you see conferences, like, like international. Academic conferences? Uh, yeah, academic or even like international. Uh, like the Peace UN summits. or anything like that, like the European Union. Mm. Right, is it like all your friends that you... So over the past three years, the community has kind of This is for you. And on that note. How is the food, Matthew? It's, it's, it's good. Did I give you a CD? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a CD player. Yeah, just needs to go back. Is it like an old one? Probably now you have a lot of uh, energy for your recording. Thanks to the food. Yeah, I feel better. I think I needed some healthy food. I got to go to an art meeting. It's some kind of art event in Cardiff about dinosaurs. Tonight? Yeah. How long? I don't really know what it is. And I'm late. I'll see. Anyway, nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see and, you. Uh, yeah. Have fun. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Maybe you need some time to do nothing and just think about what you really want to do. When I come back home and I think today is a day off and I'm not doing anything, I immediately get this voice like, how dare you? Everyone is. Everyone needs you. you. There's people that you could be helping. You could be cooking for this person. You could be. You said you're you're busy and you're not. You're doing nothing. How do you, how do you deal with it? Do I don't know. Just I didn't. Oh, I I don't like it now anymore. Like it stresses me now. Because the thing, if I do nothing, then I lose motivation to do things. So I do less and less things. <laughs> I just I'm just saying that because when I traveled, 
I didn't have any goals in particular. So I was like free to go whenever, wherever I wanted, whenever. Mm. So I don't know, it really helped me to think about things, like what I was to do. I don't know. So maybe if you force yourself to have nothing to do anymore, but you don't have to wait and do nothing, but just you have to force yourself to find to find something to do, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you know what I mean. Yeah, okay, so getting to a point that I yeah, that I'm I'm still since the Chinese New Year, um I suddenly I've suddenly been feeling really out of touch with what I feel. Since I was very clear that I knew I wanted to be in the UK and doing a master's and I okay. So else. what did you make you think you wanted to be in the UK? Um it just made sense at the time. It, it was, I don't know, it just, just made sense to finish the cycle here, finish the master here, and then move on some, to something else. People don't want my help. Mm -hmm. people, people, are, people are okay the way they are. They come to me on the street and they say, oh, have you got any money? I'm really skinned. Oh, they kick me out of the house and then please give me some money, please, I don't have anything. And I feel really bad and I want to give them everything and I think, oh, they've asked me for help. But they haven't. They haven't asked me, they just mm. asked me for a specific thing. Yeah. And I want to give them, you know, I'll change your life. I don't think I, I am the one to make them feel anything. I mean, obviously, only they can only make themselves feel better. Even if you're feeling healthy, if you have the wrong mindset, you're not happy. How long have you been living with this? Um... About three months now. There are two versions. There's the gluten-free and there's the original. <laughs> oh yeah, I have nuts as well. And I have apples. I eat apples and pears. Because I've been wanting to be vegan since I was 16, but have failed many, many, many times, and I just got introduced to this thing by a guy in Bristol. I started eating it and found that I could live with it because before if I tried going vegan I'd always have nosebleeds and I'd be malnourished and I'd be ill and pale and all over the place. Is that how it looks like when it's in a... No, this is how it looks like when you add warm water to it and turn it into porridge. Oh. Um, you usually have it cold with cold water in a liquid but because i'm ill i want it warm like porridge i'm not the ill that i was beforehand this is a different type of ill i'm not malnourished basically um i'm strangely nourished but i've, I've got everything <laughs> more or less um so yeah that's that's my life okay so if you're out in the wild, you don't have to worry about anything. You've got everything, you've got the provisions with you. Anyways. Um, I want to have this beautiful, live, macrobiotic, yin yang stuff in me. I want to taste it, I want to understand it, and I'm really, really happy to get a free meal. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Hola. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Y qué tienes en el frigorífico hoy? Pues tengo, tengo mucho yogur, <ríe> eh, fruta, pan, queso, mermelada, eh, pimientos, eh, calabacines. Y es que hace poco fui, fui de compra. Pues traje de España licor 43 que aquí no hay y está muy bueno, lo recomiendo, <ríe> con Coca-Cola. O batillo, batido de vainilla, pero aquí batido de vainilla no se lleva mucho. Pues esto lo pones a remojo durante 8 horas o así. Y luego lo fríes. Como acompañamiento en comidas. ¿Y las leches estas que tienes aquí? Sí. Eh, sí, seguí tu consejo. Y ahora bebo leche, leche más sana. Y creo que me sienta bien, sobre todo para la piel. Siempre he tenido acné y desde que dejé de, de tomar leche con lactosa, pues creo que me va mejor. Lo he probado, pero nunca he sabido el aspecto que tenía. Pero esto, 
<risa> Tiene forma de conejo, ¿no? Parece que te lo hayan hecho apuesta. Sí, Happy Easter. Un activo. Se supone que no tengo que darle otra. <risa> Porque es distraer la energía. 40 minutos. 40 minutos. ¿Y cómo por qué tanto, tanta diferencia entre el arroz normal? Bueno, porque es integral y quieres que sea digestivo. Eh, no. <risa> Siempre te lo aguanto esto también. Nunca había visto la raíz de loca. Bueno, estamos haciendo una sopa en una sartén. ¿Esto es la sopa? Muy bien. Va a dar por poquito, ¿eh? Para cada una. Es un entrante, es como un chupito. <risa> ah, mira, aquí como en, como en los restaurantes fancy. Muy chic. Muy chiquitín. Nos estamos fiando de que no se vaya a pegar, así que no lo vamos a tocar. ¿A qué se quema? Bueno. ¿Me vas a grabar mientras lo pruebo? Sí. Me siento observada. Que aproveche. Se dijo a sí mismo. <risa> Ñam, ñam. Igual he hecho más almendras porque he cogido una buena almendra y estaba muy bueno. Mm. Un sabor suave, ¿eh? Mm. No me recuerda nada. No sé. Mm. Y... La almendra y las semillas le da muy, le da muy buen sabor. Te relaja, ¿no? Esta comida. Mm. He hecho con... Con el corazón, con la intención de, no sé, de alimentar a la familia. Mm -hmm. No con la intención de vender. Mm -hmm. Vamos, es una fibra de, del vegetal, pero parece como que tiene pelo. Oh. En realidad es, es una fibra de esto que cuando lo cortas es como que tiene muchas, muchos hilitos. Oh. Eso que, vamos, que no son pelos, que esto es vegano. A veces pillas uno que se... como que se expande bastante. Mm. Bueno, no sé. <risa> Porque no usas los bolsillos. Llevo siempre calcetines, pero no siempre llevo bolsillos. Bueno, que mejor que lo que hacen aquí, que se lo meten en las tetas. Ya, sí, yo como no llevo sujetador. <risa> Pero tú te lo meterías en las tetas, si, si pude. Sí, bueno. Ay, okay. a mí eso me parece. Yo prefiero el, el calcetín. El calcetín, no <risa> Toca la teta. ¿Pero por qué la teta no? No sé, es un poco antihigiénico, ¿no? ¿Por qué? Porque el, porque el clínex está lleno de lejía y si lo pones en el pecho te puede dar cáncer. Pues, no sé. En el tobillo, o sea, en el... En la pierna no, no hay nada. Ahí no, vamos a ver. <risa> Algo de antihigiénico debe ser. Pero por el pezón que está ahí. Te lo pones arriba, ¿no? Pero puede bajar. ¿Sabes? <risa> Perfectamente puede bajar. ¿Pero qué, te, qué le dices? ¿Por si luego te, te lo chupan o qué? <risa> <risa> ¿Y si te chupan el pie? Venga, vamos a ver. <risa> vamos a ver, me detengo. Cucumber, I say. Oh, he says cucumber. The same as me. And what about miso? What? Miso. It's a special one. I don't know what miso is. What do you think of miso? Do you like cheese? Yeah, I love cheese. So do you think you would like miso if it's also fermented like cheese? Yeah, I do. What are you drawing? I'm drawing a prize, whoever gets it right. <laughs> Matthew, 
After this, I need the mini sins again. Oh. Do you know what ginger is? Yeah, they don't like a taste. Okay, so ginger is on the menu. But I want to try a bit in it. You know, we are co-creating a recipe. Yeah. How about sesame seeds? They're even smaller than the sunflower seeds. Yeah. Okay. And pumpkin seeds? We'll, we'll make them all and then you can see them on a plate on the side. Yeah. Okay. I, That's probably the best idea. Yeah. Photocopier now. It might be the opposite, it might be that actually that's quite cooling. Yeah. Modern, but I don't know where it's done now. You don't know where it's done? No. Yeah. Oh. I don't know either. Do you, want, do you want to try the sea? And it's called sea spaghetti. It's like spaghetti but from the sea. Should we have one each? It's very dry. You have to try to eat a lot. Yeah, it's like eating the sea. What are we doing now? We're roasting seeds. I can see them through camera easy. I only put a little bit of salt and salt. no water. Okay. So the salt helps the sweetness to come out and the, and the water to come out as well. So for the seeds, if you want an extra yam, so the yam would be the salty. Uh, I would add a little bit of soy sauce. Yeah. Also, if I'm more yin, I've got to get food so they're more yam. Yes. If I'm more yam, I have to get more yin. Yes. Baby. And seaweed also is good. Mm. It's also has some minerals. Mm. I think it's got uh, some yin <laughs> condition, but also some yang as well. So, so how do you check that? I, I will give him something that's yang, but then um, like the healthy yin. Really nice. Mm. Uh, the pumpkin ones are easier to make because uh, when they mm. When they're ready to pop up. Yeah, I had a pop up cafe a couple of times, but I won't even look at the lava. I can't afford no, having a even cafe full time. And because I'm at home with cafes. Yeah. I found a really hard time. Oh well, I don't know. More seeds! Seeds! Here the books! The food! Which ones are they? So the, the Japanese sometimes are oh, help you with that. <laughs> so we're waiting until they start popping and popping. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a little bit. Yeah, very well. Pear. Pear needs some juice. I like 
Yeah, well, Jan. Jan, Jan, Jan. You want the Jan? You want the Everybody else is gone. I'm having a great time. It does. It feels really good. I feel like I'm doing an advert for you, but it feels really. Yeah, it feels like it's doing you good because my lunch was chips and sausages, so you know it's quite different. I feel this is actually nourishing, and um, nourishes the soul. <laughs> Okay, well, at first I said the number really long ago and, and it was agreed by everyone that it was okay. She said it wouldn't be a problem because of the extensions of the table. When you sent me the email saying that you wanted the film people coming in, that's where that came from. So I, I don't want to film people coming in at 5.30, I told them to come in at 6, so why don't we film them coming in at 6? I mean, this is not a, this is not a show about how people come in a room, this is about people eating and enjoying a meal. I don't want to delay everything and have them come half hour earlier after I said... Okay, I, I told you in an email what I wanted to do. Something very simple. I don't want people to go through lots of stress. I just want people to enjoy the food. Do you want to be the one? Do you want to make the phone calls and say, sorry, you can't come to the dinner? Do you want to make the phone calls? Okay, you make the phone calls. You're not listening because I said... this. This is the number of people that I can invite. This is the number of people I've invited. And you say, okay, three days before, you can't. Then I viewed the, the room two weeks ago and everything was fine. And then you're telling me three days before that I can't do it. There was two hours in hospital and I lost an hour with the cows. So oh, yeah. three hours I've lost altogether. See? Okay. I've been doing organic vegetables since approximately 2003. I was with the Soil Association, then I moved from uh, Biodynamic. Um, I currently have 20 odd veg box customers and I also do eggs and meat as well. Savoy cabbage, onions, carrots and uh, kale. It's quite a tasty one. Uh, I started farming organic because I simply fed up with conventional agriculture. We were getting high yields, but we were also getting a lot of sick cattle and I was just fed up with the way things are going. I got a bit sick myself, I had an ulcer, so I was switched to organic. My yields did not drop that much, which is surprising, but my cattle were much healthier mm. and I've basically stuck with it ever since. And I find my stock is far healthier for being organic and my produce is far healthier and um, I like to think I'm far healthier. So my customers are healthier and they're quite happy with yes. With I was with the Soil Association, I found them a bunch of bloody jobs with, to be honest. <laughs> the inspectors are more concerned about implementing every stupid rule and regulation rather than the welfare of animals. Mm. And I had a, I haven't got 10 of them, you've only got 40, unless you just want to knock it off next week. But I was fine up till uh, Friday morning though, because I circuit trained Wednesday as well. Did a load of circuit training and I did some work on Thursday, well I did did some work on Thursday, cut a load of firewood, did a load of washing, I got up and I felt as if I'd drunk about 8 pints and I hadn't. Yeah. I hadn't had anything to drink. Then the legs started swelling Saturday. Yes, I, I do occasionally use homeopathy with my animals and I find it works very well. Um, sometimes they use no swords and sometimes they just uh, use um, specific remedies. But yeah, I, I do actually use that, yes. Yes. So, I do a bit of everything. I need a coppice, a hedge, and then plant all new thorns there. Eh? Good for the environment and good for stock. I do need to get some support, I know that. I could do with half a dozen pair yeah. of arms, or just one. Yeah. I, I, I already did the box for it. Uh... Yeah, that's what I want. Today's my birthday. And I want to make a difference for 
having been born 29 years ago. So you choose where these. Okay. Are you allergic to cats? No, okay. I've got a cat at home. Okay. Hello. Let's go. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you can live here. Oh. Thank you. It's awesome, isn't it? I love trains too. What does it work? Um, we're not allowed to touch it, I'm afraid. Oh. <laughs> Hello, how, how do you feel being famous? Uh, I'm Rory. <laughs> and I actually became famous on TV. <laughs> and the people who were asking me for autographs, yeah, cool. yeah, the whole school watched me on TV. Michael Portillo, who was filming one of his um, ah, Great British yeah. Railway journeys, 
I bumped into him and he was asking me a few questions oh. and I was on TV. That, that was 2011. <laughs> is this being filmed live? It's only because my hair is in a real mess from kickboxing. <laughs> I know what you're going to say, I'm wearing makeup and that's not natural, but it's all about yin and yang and today is a party, it's a celebration. The one I wear is uh, called Beauty Without Cruelty which they try to make you think that they don't harm any animals in the making. They probably kind of kill something. Like, they had to use petrol to carry it somewhere, and they, 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 where do they get the ideas? They got it from the industry, and the industry is based in cruelty. Nothing's pure. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with makeup, personally. It's a little art. It's been happening for millennia, yes. since the dawn of some kind of intellect. As far as I'm aware, you could just colour yourself in a rainbow and it's pretty funky. I never wear makeup. I think that if I'm not showing my natural beauty, I'm deceiving people and I don't want anyone to feel that I'm yeah. deceiving them. Because, <laughs> because if you're you deceiving people, people, that's like yeah. what the questions you should say about theatres and actors. I like your face paint. Alright, I've got a gig to get to at 8, so I, cool. I yeah. can only stay till about half at 7. Is that your guitar? If I had a tattoo, it would be a yin and yang tattoo. So I put it, literally, I put it right here. And they're meant to be polar opposites, like good, bad, light, dark. It's That's a bit like Star Wars, really. <laughs> light side, dark side. Do you remember if she suggested that you needed more yin style foods or more yang style foods? Uh, I don't remember Violetta actually mentioning any of those things. Oh, it's unusual. Okay. Can we turn this light off? Have you got a spoon? Oh yeah. It, was, um, it, it, it felt like it was. Um, it felt like it was nutritious and wholesome. And so often you eat food and you wonder what it's going to do to you and what's in it. I think this was. I worry a, a lot about Roland because he has eczema, and I feel that this this food was. Um, n not something to worry about, which is rare these days. But it was um, based on microbiotics. Microbiotics. <laughs> so, what did you like it, Roland? Yeah, thank you. So, would you eat that every day at home? Mm. Just the soup. Just the soup, okay. So, I'm um, food. Um, about their food, um, for me, I quite like it. Um, quite like it. It's tasty, but I think we lack of a little bit things. It's a little too dry. But we, yeah, we have some soup before that, but I think it's a little too dry in, in the middle and a little salty. Um, but they cover with the jam. I think. Um, what can I say? It's nice, um, but it's not perfect. If I gonna have a grade on it, I'll say 90%. And it is all about the yin and yang thing. I don't know what is the subject for tonight, yin or yang. If you want to balance things, if you're in a, if you're feeling very yin and you feel undernourished, I feel yin all the time. So, so then you, you need 
to cut down. Yeah, I need to. You need to cut down the game that you're doing. Well, actually, and then you just need more yang, yang, you know. So, you know, <laughs> oh, definitely more yang, more yin. I used to be a young person, but recently I just turned to yin. I don't know why for no reason. It is so formal because I get used to informal places. So it's too formal and it makes me a little bit nervous. I've never talked be before on a camera. And it's always, oh, am I going to be a superstar right now? Am I going to be on BBC once more morning when I open, when I see the TV? So, uh, okay. I am the only Asian here. How I'm from China. Um, and about the yin and yang, I think it's original from China. Uh, as a Chinese, I do know a little bit about it. It's from the Dao. It is a religion thing. My Chinese name is based on the five elements. So I lack of gold. So my name is made of gold. It's mountain gold. I, I don't think we can cook vegan food as so delicious. You know, my cryptics is about eating slowly. Because uh. <laughs> I never tried vegan before, I like meat. I like meat and beef as well. Mm, yeah, lamb is very nice as well. Um, but no, I'll try vegetable as well, but uh, once a week, that's the maximum. My name's Senya Bramley, and I, yeah, I really liked the food. I thought it was delicious. Um, I loved the soup, it was simple but effective and it had all the right tastes come out of the vegetables. Love the main course. Um, I like the way it was, it was simple in that there were sort of separate things in particular um, and it was carefully sort of managed so that you know every food was thought about. So what you had on the plate it was just the right balance of everything really, um, that actually every product or every food item is there for particular means to, yeah, basically. But it, it was very nice, the soup was delicious. What was the soup anyway? It had onions, onions? parsnips yeah. and squash. Squash? Yes, butternut squash. Oh, and that's it. <coughs> Mushrooms are lovely, fair in it. The mushrooms were fried in sesame oil. Burgers were nice, mm. especially with the um, the apple homemade apple chutney. That was nice on the, on the broccoli and kale. O o overall, it's very very tasty. Not not um, not too heavy, not, not too filling. Mm -hmm. um, quite well balanced, tastes wise, and uh, yeah, it's very fresh, very fresh. Well, my name is Irina Metzler. All in all, it was a really, really nice experience. The soup was my favourite. Mm -hmm. The soup is really, really yummy. Mm -hmm. um, it had a lovely balance of flavours. The mushrooms were great in mm -hmm. there. Um, it's easy to say that because lots of people like soup and soup is, is, is quite a sort of easy going dish. Um, the second course, uh, the, the kind of burger type things, I don't know what they were called, they were a little bit on the heavy side I found. The vegan uh, sushi, that was nice. The homemade apple chutney, mm -hmm. absolutely scrumptious. I wasn't a fan of the dessert. I'm okay. sorry, it was it was far too heavy and it wasn't sweet enough. How was the food? Completely. <laughs> but not vegan at all. Not just vegetarian. Oh, okay. I'm a carnivore. A lot of cheese and a lot of meat. Okay, and yeah. a lot of I'm fruit. So that's the extreme yin, the fruit, the extreme yang. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? Great! Rachel just showing me his motorbike. Well, I, I put yin and yang in most of my songs, apart from this one that talks about um, being yourself, like all my songs. Just to feel the 
Thank you.